Are you struggling to make money with trading? Well, if so, then you're probably making one major mistake. Right now, we'll talk about what this one mistake is and how you can fix it. If you want to succeed in trading, then you need three things. We've talked about this in the past. You need number one, a proven trading strategy. Number two, powerful tools. And number three, the right mindset. We talked about trading strategy quite a lot here on this channel. And if you would like to know the trading strategies that I personally use in my trading, uh, which is the Power X strategy and the wheel strategy, there are videos in the description here. Anyhow, so going back to these three elements, see, here's the point. If you miss any, any of these three elements, chances that you'll make money with trading are extremely low. You see, when it comes to the right trading mindset, you need to have two things. And the two things that you need is number one, discipline, and number two, patience. And I know this is not that sexy, but trust me, if you are struggling to make money with trading, then you probably have a problem with discipline or with patience. So let's uh, take a look at this here for a moment. And I looked up the dictionary and I wanted to see what actually is discipline and uh, putting it here on the screen for you. So discipline is the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. Now, <laughs> let, let's replace a few things. So it's not the practice of training people. It's a practice of training you to obey rules, because if not, the punishment will come from the markets. So this is where it goes back to having these uh, three pillars of trading and you definitely need to have a trading strategy. So the trading strategy is giving you the rules that you need to obey. And therefore, as I said, if you miss any of these three things, you will struggle. Let's talk about a trading strategy. What are the three things that a trading strategy need to answer? Well, number one is what do you trade? And this can be what stock do you trade? What option do you trade? And you know, this is where I'm using the tool, the PowerX Optimizer, that helps me to decide what stocks or options I should trade every single day. When I'm looking here at uh, the PowerX Optimizer, you see it gives me actually the scanner results of whether I'm trading the wheel strategy or I'm trading the PowerX strategy to know exactly what to trade. Now, number two, here is the second thing that a trading strategy addresses. And the second thing is when to enter. When exactly do you buy a stock? When exactly do you buy an option? Or if you're trading the wheel, when exactly do you sell an option? And then number three is when to exit the trades. And when you exit the trade, there are two ways. It is number one, exiting with a profit or exiting with a loss. This is the set of rules that the discipline is talking here about. You gotta obey these rules. And you see, it gets tricky to obey these rules if you don't have a trading strategy. So number one, the number one task of every single trader is you must have a trading strategy and you need to write it down. Doesn't matter, you can do it in your computer, you can do it in a piece of paper. A trading strategy is really not that complicated. I have shared my trading strategy over and over and you know that it fits on one piece of paper and only if you have the trading strategy written down, then you can actually follow your plan, right? And this is what discipline is all about. Now, I said that there are two things that you need when it comes to having the right mindset of a trader. One of the things is having the discipline. And number two is having patience. This is something that I, I want to tell you a story of an email that I received yesterday. So, uh, but, but let's take a look at the dictionary and let's see what is patience. And this was really interesting when I looked it up to see that it is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble or suffering without getting angry or upset. And I thought, oh, well, I don't know if this really helps us. So I also looked up and uh, see what is upset. And <laughs> upset is actually a state of being unhappy, disappointed or worried. And uh, let's face it, as traders, isn't this a state that we are facing quite frequently? Being unhappy, 
being unhappy with our results, being unhappy with the markets, being unhappy with the way a trade is going, being disappointed with our trading results, being disappointed with how a trade uh, has turned out, or worried when we are in a trade. We are worrying like, okay, is this trade turning out good or is this trade turning out bad? Will this be a profit? Will this be a loss? When will be the next trade? So this is why it's really important that you have discipline and patience. And so yesterday I received an email from a customer who has been using the PowerX Optimizer for a while. So this customer said, you know what? I'm very unhappy with my results. I'm actually very disappointed about my results being upset, right? <laughs> so upset sounds sort of like, I'm angry. Uh, no, it, it's just a state of being unhappy, disappointed or worried. This trader shared some results with me and said, hey, I entered all of these five trades. I entered them on the same day and all five trades turned out to be a losing trade. You see, this is where I just want to share, for example, what I saw today coming up on the scanner. So if you're using the PowerX Optimizer, then you see that today we had four symbols coming up on the scanner. BBBY, GUCH, GUSH, MVIS, and RAT, uh, Right Aid Corporation. You also know that I have my rules. That's what, what I just talked about, right? I mean, do you have a trading strategy, a proven trading strategy? And my proven trading strategy is that when I am getting these stocks that I'm actually looking for the following four things. Number one, I want to see that I have a smooth PL graph. So I want to look at the PL chart and I want to make sure that this is nicely going up. Number two, I want to look at the trendability of a stock. Number three, I want to look at the gappiness and I want to make sure that there's no gaps. And number four, I also want to make sure that I'm using the $5 rule, which means it has to trade above $5 and over the look back period, it should have traded above $5. And this is when today, if I looking here at BBBY, and we start with this one, we're bringing it up and I actually want to go there. So we were looking, I'm zooming out here a little bit so that we can see of what has been happening over the past two years. And we see that the PL graph is actually plateauing, right? There's a plateau here, it goes down. There's another plateau here, a plateau here, a plateau here. You get the idea. This is not really a smooth PL curve that we are looking for. Let me just show you in comparison a few trades that I am in right now. One of them is being FUV and we'll, we'll talk about this here in a moment. When we look at FUV, we see that it has actually a pretty nice PL chart that is going from the lower left to the upper right. Here's another example, MUR. MUR is a trade that I'm in right now. As you can see here, it has a very nice PL chart going from the lower left to the upper right. This is where I am following my rules. And these are trades that I entered earlier this week. I think FUV is from last week. And looking at the scanner result, BBBY, this is why I am marking it here with a frowny face of saying, no, this is not a trade that I want to take. And you see, this is where the software actually lets me say it's a yes, no, or a maybe, right? Whether I want to trade it or not. And here I said clearly, no, I do not want to trade this. Now this is when we are looking at Gush. So Gush is the next one that popped up on the scanner. And I mean, th this is where you see, even if the PL chart would be nice in terms of trendability, look at the trendability, it plummeted all the way down here and has been hovering around here ever since. So this is not nice in terms of trendability. And this is why I have these four criteria. And these four criteria are part of my trading strategy. When we go back to the trading strategy, I told you the three things that a trading strategy need to answer is number one, what stock do I want to trade? Number two, when do I want to enter? Number three, when do I want to exit? And here we are at the question of do I want to trade this stock or not? Let's take a look at the next one, MVIS. So you get the idea, MVIS here looking a little bit better. So the PL chart is not too bad. Recently it has been rather flat, but look at this. This here is the $5 line. And if you look back, then you see that for most of the time over the past two years, MVIS has been trading below $5, which is one of the criteria that I have where I say, if it does it, it's like, 
a no, right? So super easy, super simple for me. Let's just quickly look at the last one, RAD, Rite Aid. And we also see here, this is not going anywhere, then jumping up, then going sideways. And again, compare this to FUV or MUR, you see what is good and what is not good. So this is where, I mean, this morning, I sat down in front of my computer, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to attack the markets. But you see, it doesn't matter whether I'm ready. Are the markets ready for me? And this is when I looked at the stocks. I saw, you know what? Today, there is, in terms of the Power X strategy, nothing to trade. So what does it mean? It means that I need to sit on my hands. So let's go back off uh, what the core problem here really is the right mindset where you need to have the discipline to follow your rules. I could, I could now say, ah, you know what, MVIS, it's not too bad and I start bending my rules. This is where it goes back to having the discipline to actually obey the rules that you have set for yourself. That's a beautiful thing, right? I mean, the definition of discipline sounds, uh, first of all, so, so weird, right? It's the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience, right? But the, the idea here is really you have set your own rules and uh, you are actually training yourself to follow your plan because when you don't do it, It'll be challenging, right? Okay, so I wanna give you some very specific tips of uh, how to deal with it. So there's actually four tips how you can get better with your discipline and also with your patience. You see, one of the things that I had in the beginning of my trading career is that I had this little voice in my head that says, if you don't trade, you don't make any money. And then I realized, well, if you don't trade, you're also not losing any money. And now let me just share my iPad here and write one of the things down. So number one, doing nothing as I did today, not trade is an action. So let me come back here. Doing nothing is an action. So going through the trades and actively deciding I do not want to trade is good, right? So always keep this in mind, sitting on your hands, being in cash, not trading is a good position. So number two, here's how you can get better with your discipline and also the patience is journal how you feel. And uh, honestly, I could get better at this. Every now and then I start journaling for a few days, sometimes a few weeks, and then I stop doing this. Journaling is recording your trades and also how you feel about this. Are you disappointed, right? I mean, this is where we go back to the state of upset. Are you unhappy? Are you disappointed? Are you worried? Because if so, you know that you probably need some more patience because the definition of patience is to accept or tolerate delay, trouble or suffering without getting angry or upset. So first thing of how to fix it is to recognize that you might be upset or angry, okay? So number one, doing nothing is an action. Number two, journaling how you feel. Number three, having checklists, having a trading plan, knowing when to trade, when not to trade. I mean, as you can see, I have a very clear checklist that I'm going through every morning where I say, okay, here's number one, I'm running the scanner. Number two, I'm looking at the stocks according to four criteria that I just gave you to see if this makes sense to me. Like a pilot, you're going through a checklist. And then number four, number four is that you review what works and what doesn't. And based on this, you're adjusting your trading plan. But you can't adjust your trading plan, your trading strategy, if you don't have one in the first place. Is this making sense at all? So uh, just in a nutshell, the biggest mistakes that I see that traders are making is they might have a strategic strategy or not. You see, that's another big thing. You got to have a trading strategy. You need to have powerful tools that are supporting this and you need to have the right mindset. The right mindset means that you have discipline and patience. And now you know the four things that you can do to actually have more trading discipline and more trading patience. Okay, cool. There's a few videos that are popping up. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna really love these videos. Take a look at these and this one somewhere there. They should pop up and I will see you in the next video.